Hi everyone, welcome back to Lash Therapy. In this video, we will be going over part one of the classic lash training course covering sanitation and safety. Please hit that bell notification to subscribe where you will be notified for when we release part two of the video. Also, I have created a Facebook forum where you can ask any questions on there that supports lash technicians as well as beauty professionals. I will leave a link for the Facebook group in the description box down below. Now let's jump into this. Whether you are following your state board regulations or OSHA guidelines, it is imperative for all lash technicians to keep their work area, tools, and themselves sanitary. It is important to have everything labeled in your workstation and also in your facility to avoid cross-contamination. Make sure to throw any disposable items away after each use. And remember, if something has dropped on the ground, do not follow the three second rule. Make sure to throw it away and replace it with a brand new one. Always clean your station with a disinfectant wipe in between each client and after the end of your workday. This includes anything that you and your tools have touched during this service. Make sure when sanitizing your area to clean under your surface items to guarantee you a thorough cleaning. Tweezers must be cleaned properly before disinfecting. Any surface debris will reduce the effect of the disinfectant and will cause cross-contamination. Make sure to clean your tweezers with soap and water and to remove surface debris before disinfecting. Next, dry your tweezers or implements with a clean, lint-free cloth or allow it to air dry. Remember, wet tweezers can rust. You can take this time to dispose of your gloves and wash your hands for at least 30 seconds using warm water and soap. It is important to wash your hands or apply a new pair of gloves in between each client. Now we'll be going over the proper way when disinfecting your tools. Alcohol kills most viruses but will not kill many spore-forming bacteria, which is why State Board recommends barbicide when cleaning all tools and utensils. In the beginning of each day, make sure to change your barbicide solution. This solution should not be contaminated throughout the day because your dirty implements contaminate the solution immediately after use. Make sure you're following proper instructions on the back of your particular germicide. Please be careful and use extra precaution when handling these products. They are very potent. My germicide takes 32 ounces of water and 2 ounces of barbicide. Now place your implements or tweezers inside your solution. Mine requires 10 minutes. Never put your tweezers tip down. It will start to warp or bend your tweezers or it can even change the way it grips. After waiting carefully, remove your implements, place them on a clean lint-free cloth, and take them to your sink to be rinsed. Make sure to rinse them with warm water thoroughly. Pat them dry, again, and store your tweezers in a clean labeled container. Make sure to sanitize your hands in between each client Wear your personal protection mask from glue fumes and also to protect your client and have your hair tied back for sanitary precautions. Make sure you have a bed sheet for your clients to lay on and replace a new one before each service. All right, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video covering sanitation and safety for part one of the classic course for lash therapy. Please leave a comment down below if you do have any questions and also don't forget to hit that bell notification so you are notified for our next video and I will see you soon.